Hi. So, uh, I just want to update on, on some things. Uh, I'm uh, just uh, uh, playing around with uh, uh, Polestar's uh, new uh, UI. Uh, they have uh, this uh, version where you, can, uh, where you can see how it will work, uh, at least some functions in the car. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, um, you can actually go to this web address. I'll put it here somewhere uh, and kind of download this application and uh, yeah you can uh, test it out different uh, version different uh, functions like uh, yeah you see steering here and uh, uh, yeah region braking creep on and off um, and if you go to functions uh, you have a lot of different things to to do here uh, yeah you can distance alert yeah so everything is like big buttons and uh, you can press it very easily and uh, yeah there can set charge oh okay uh, not really but yeah you will be able to set the charge speed and uh, other things there this will be in in the car so it's based on uh, on uh, Android and uh, Google so they have uh, uh, made this uh, this UI in the car together with, with Google, which, which is, I think it's good actually, because uh, I think Google will be better on this kind of functions than, uh, than uh, Volvo would be on their own. Uh, so yeah, I think this is, this is good. Here, here we have some kind of yeah, Easter egg. <laughs> Wonder who they, who they are watching. <laughs> I'm this Volvo <clears throat> or Polestar flying in space. Where did they get this from? <laughs> okay, and yeah, music of course. And the here I didn't, uh, the, the, the buttons there on top didn't really work here. Um, but yeah, you can go back like that. And you have, uh, yeah, you see apps and uh, everything. There. So if you want to play with this, uh, you can follow the link in the description. Next turn, two light years. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to change this, but uh, no. Autopilot. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, that's it with the new Polestar UI. Uh, that's uh, what they released now on the, in the morning. And um, uh, on another note, this I just want to mention something that happened in my leaf yesterday. It's uh, ha have happened a, a few times before. Uh, the outer brake just starts breaking. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's it's really frustrating. As you can see here, I was almost uh, um, at the intersection with the other car on uh, in the left lane, and it it brake pretty hard. I counter it with the, with the, the acceleration pedal right away, so I didn't stop. But I got the warning symbol on the display and everything. And it's uh, it's like the third time in 3,000 kilometers I have driven the car, and uh, that's about the same amount of times that my Volvo uh, did the same thing in like. Uh, uh, 170,000 kilometers, uh, my two Volvos that have had the, the outer brake function. So uh, I know that uh, several other people with the Leaf have had the same issues with the, with the outer brake. It's a bit too sensitive, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, and the uh, next thing is the latest update uh, um, around uh, RapidGate and uh, the new software. Uh, I just got, got uh, noticed from uh, dealerships and, uh, and uh, people working in Nissan that they have uh, gotten information now to the dealers about, uh, about the update. So it's on Nissan's uh, internal uh, webpage now. It's uh, information to, to the dealers that uh, from uh, 9th of May, the change was made in, uh, in production. So cars made after 9th of May have the, the, the new update and still not uh, any updates on uh, whether uh, how to get the update for, for uh, older cars but uh, I guess uh, it will come uh, really soon. Another thing I drove uh, uh, my 
yeah, close this to zero or beyond zero yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so I came home with uh, zero percent and zero mile uh, or kilometers. Uh, and uh, thanks to LeafSpy, I wasn't so worried. Um, seems like I had a couple of the kilowatts left. And from what I know, the, um, uh, the turtle mode doesn't start until uh, about 14 gigs. So uh, uh, that's um, around one kilowatt. So uh, I, was, I was pretty safe and uh, I could probably have driven like uh, at least 10 kilometers more. Uh, I drove about two, three kilometers after it went uh, dash, dash, dash. So uh, thank you for watching and this uh, short, short uh, update of uh, things. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Bye bye. Subscribe.